so welcome back everyone now having the problem with the windows pin is a very common problem for both windows 10 and 11 user and where either they forget the pin or they get an error saying something happened and the pin isn't available so in this video guys i will be sharing two different method and in case the first method doesn't work the second will be surely working for you the only thing that you have to keep in mind that do not skip any part as each and every steps are very important and if you skip them, it will not work for you. Alright, so right now you can see I am on my Windows 11. And I am getting the same message that your pin isn't available. So what you have to do here. From your keyboard, you will have to press and hold the shift key. And while holding the shift key, you will have to click on the power icon that is on the right hand corner. Click on restart. And click on restart anyway. And now you can leave the shift key. And the computer will now be coming up in the advanced options. And once you find this kind of a screen, here you have to click on troubleshoot. Then click on advanced options. Click on command prompt. Now here you have to type a simple command that will be net space user space administrator forward slash active colon yes. Hit the enter key. And this command will be enabling the administrator account on your computer. Now next you have to type reg edit and hit the enter key. Now this will bring up the registry editor. Now here what you have to do. Click on H key local machine. Click on it once. Then click on file from the top menu option. And click on load hive. And you will be getting this kind of page. And here you have to click on this PC from the left hand side. And guys make sure that you do not skip any part. Do exactly how I am doing over here. Okay or else it will not work for you. Now once you come to this PC. You will have to look for the C drive where your windows has been installed. Make a double click on it. Then you will find the windows folder. Make a double click on it again. In the windows you have to look for system 32. Double click on it. Then in the system 32, you have to look for a file or a folder by the name config. Here it is. Again, make a double click on it. And in the config, you have to look for the software. Here it is. Once you get it, select it. And then click on open. Now this will bring up this kind of box and it will ask you the key name. And here you have to type M software. Alright, so you need to type exactly M software. Everything will be in the lower case. And then you have to click on OK. So again from the registry editor, make a double click on the H key local machine. And this time you will find a new folder here by the name M software that we created. Make a double click on it again. And here you have to look for a folder by the name Microsoft. Double click on it. And in the Microsoft you have to look for a folder by the name Windows NT. So scroll down and somewhere you will find Windows NT. Double click on it again. Then you have to double click on current version. And in the current version you have to look for a folder by the name passwordless. So come to the P section and here you will find the passwordless. Once you get it, again make a double click on it. Then double click on device. And the moment you click on device, on the right hand side, you will find a key here by the name device passwordless build version. So once you get this file, make a double click on it. And its value data will be selected to 2. You have to make it to 0. Click on OK. And now you are all done. Now go back to the M software where we started. Click on M software once. Then from the top menu option, click on file. And click on unload hive. Click on yes. Now close the registry editor. Close the command prompt. Click on continue. And this time once you come to the login screen. You would be able to find the pin option. Where you can type the pin. And you can move on. So let me type in the pin. And bingo now you can see that I am inside my desktop. So this was the first method guys that you can try and hopefully you have got the solution. 
but in case if this method doesn't work then you can try the second method that will be working 100% but for that you will have to create a bootable USB using any other device any other laptop or computer so plug in the USB to any other computer for a while then bring up any of the browser and here you have to search for iron CD and hit the enter key then you will have to click on the first link iron boot CD click on download from the top menu option scroll down a bit and they will find hbcdpx64.iso click on it and the downloading of this iso will be started and it's around 3.1 gigabyte so you need at least a pen drive or a usb drive that should be at least of 4 gigabyte or 8 gigabyte all right so once the iso has been downloaded next you have to download the rufus so just type rufus and you will come to this website here is scroll down and here you have to click on Rufus 4.5.exe and the file will be quickly downloaded so click on the downloaded file click on yes and this kind of dashboard will be up where it will automatically detect your pen drive or usb that you have connected so choose the right usb then from the boot selection you will have to click on select now locate to the place where you have downloaded the iron iso go to that location select it click on open and now you don't have to make any changes simply click on start and after that it will start creating a bootable usb and once you have created the bootable usb of the iron now you can connect that usb to this computer where you have the problem of the pin once connected go ahead and restart the computer and use the bios key to change the boot priority order now on my end it's the f10 key so I will tap on the F10 key and I will come to this kind of page. I can select the USB here and the iron will now start loading the file and depending you are using SSD or the hard disk it may take some time. On SSD it hardly take about a minute but on the hard drive it can take about 2 to 3 minutes. So just wait until all the files are being loaded. Alright, so once the Iron Bootable CD will be loaded, you will be getting this kind of dashboard of Iron Boot CD. Now here what you have to do, click on the start icon at the left hand corner. Then click on all programs. And here you have to hover up on security. And in the security you have to hover up on password. And in the password you have to click on Windows Login Unlocker. Click on it. And you will be getting this kind of dashboard. Now here you have to look for your user account where you have been stuck with the pin. Select it. Then make a right click on it. And you get tons of options here. You can change the password. You can reset it. You can reset the pin code. So what you can do, you can click on reset password. Click on OK. And it's all been done. Again you can make a right click on it. And also click on reset pin code okay so finally all done now go ahead and just restart the computer in the normal mode and here we go so now you can see that it's not asking me any kind of password any kind of pin so simply you will have to click on sign in and you will be inside your desktop so now you can go to the settings here accounts and then you have to click on sign in options click on password click on add just go ahead and create a password for your account click on next and click on finish now once you have created a password click on the pin section and now you can create a new pin over here so that's all guys for today and hopefully these two methods will surely give you the solution by the end of this video and let me know that which method works for you but in case still if you have any issues while applying all these solution you can let me know in the comment section and make sure guys do not forget to like and subscribe and I see you in the next video. Bye-bye.